This is a continuation of the video of the 100 watt mercury vapor flood starting up. The 100 watt fixture takes a lot longer to warm up to full brightness than the uh, 175 one, so it was pretty dim when it, the camera stopped, but as you can see, it's a lot brighter now. And the high contrast is still there, it's just that it's so bright, it's, the camera isn't picking it up. Probably the auto darkness. What I'm going to show you here is the, uh, man, that's pretty bright. How can they call this inefficient? Nonetheless, the thin, the, the big, broad cloud has concentrated itself into a stripe, a concentrated stripe in the center. You can kind of see it with these sunglasses over the camera, not quite. But that's what happens when it warms up all the way. The big cloud concentrates itself into a thinner stripe of really bright blue-green light. And it casts this wonderful hue over every single square inch of my room. Looks pretty awesome. And the glass is clear, so that's not really softening it much, but that, that's to show you what it looks like with it on, just in case you were curious. Ah. Now this is what we use as a band spotlight for the stage because of the high color contrast and the cool zombie effect. It's that unique spectrum that causes that zombie effect. There's nothing that can duplicate that, which is another reason why I want these to stick around. So, hope you like. This is the 100-watt uh, mercury vapor flood at full brightness. Latest.